Hello, welcome to Wake Up Call with Corinna. I'm here at the Crystal Shrine again and uh, just got back from Dallas. And I flew in this last night and oh, my arm's tired. <laughs> Sorry, stupid joke. But funny to me every time I say it. <laughs> I am kind of tired. I got in really late last night. Uh, but it was a very good trip. And uh, had, uh, had fun. I got my certification in what they're calling functional movement taping, also known as kinesiology taping. And it was great. And I got to spend some time with um, some friends in Dallas. They put me up for the few days that I was there, which was so appreciative. And they were wonderful. Showed me around Dallas. So that was fun. Um, I wanted to talk to you uh, and myself today about creativity. Creativity. I think the reason that this came up was because there's kind of a general air of out of it, overwhelm, displacement, um, almost really not sure what's going on in, in general in people's lives. And so I think that's why this came up because when we're in a funk, the way to get out of that funk is to change it up. Change up your hair, change up your clothes, uh, wear things you forgot you had in your closet, change up colors if you used to wearing the same colors all the time, change where you typically go shopping, change where you the perfume that you normally wear, cologne, etc. Change how you cook things or what you cook. All those things help adjust the funk. So if that's what you're going through or you're uninspired, you have to change your environment. You have to change your interaction with the environment. And so I think that's what's coming up uh, for today, for now, this week, and what we're going through. Um, it feels like this is a suggestion because when we wait too long or we stay in that funk too long, we typically wait for something fairly dramatic to make us change something, whether that's uh, a loss or uh, an argument, um, an accident, something like that. We talked last time about the point of overwhelm and that tipping point. This is similar and other kind of the um, uh, continuation of that idea, but yeah, change things up, change it up, change it up, change it up. If you walk your dog on a regular, change the direction that you go, change where you go, change how you go, <laughs> all those things. And again, I think what I'm getting is that this is a preservation idea. I know for myself, having uh, gone to Texas and Having to change up my day helped a lot, which I was hoping it was going to do. Um, those experiences, even if they're not great, for example, um, went to a trivia night at a bar. And uh, overall, I enjoyed and appreciated the experience. However, <laughs> It reminded me why I don't necessarily go to those kinds of events. It's just 
stimulation overload. It's loud, I can't hear people talk, I have to try to read people's lips, uh, and then it was, you know, asking questions that I had to figure out in my brain, which was fine. Uh, there was competition, and I don't do competition. <laughs> so, um, so there were all these nuances that I not only am not familiar with um, in my environment on a regular, uh, but it was a lot to process. But I still really appreciated that experience because it helps me understand some of my limitations. Uh, it also helps me understand some of my strengths, uh, likes and dislikes. So uh, I was grateful for it, and I love the people I was with. And um, so the experiences don't have to be always happy and fun. However, uh, for me, having new experiences are fun. So I was thinking about um, these types of situations, and I know that especially when you're trying to entertain someone who's visiting, you always want to make the experiences fun, right? Um, but I think that's such an unnecessary stress. I think just general experiences are part of memories, and so um, changing that up for me was great, and so the, the point of this talk today is about creativity. So go to places you don't go. Go to places that challenge you. You know, it's um, it's not about getting rid of uncomfortable situations. It's really about uh, adding those experiences to who you are and, and, and to your life. So when we are stuck or frustrated or in a rut, um, going to places that challenge who we are also helps inspire change. So uh, again, I'm very, very grateful for my trip. I had the experience of the taping class um, and the mechanics and kind of that one side of the brain which includes some intuition, but it also was very um, methodical in some ways. And then I got to play, so that was pretty cool. And I got to play with new dogs, and I got to see how other people live with dogs, and animals, and other humans, and things like that. Um, and so, yeah, uh, Dallas was lovely. And uh, today's talk is probably going to be pretty short because I'm tired. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. That's the truth. So I'm going to shuffle some cards and see if we get something else. Um, so what do you do when you're in a funk? And how long do you allow yourself to stay in that mode? Everybody has, again, different tolerance levels. Um, and of course it depends on what's going on in your world and who's in your world, what you're going to be capable of doing. However, be very, very careful that you don't make the possibility of changes too great because those are unnecessary. Big changes don't have to, you don't have to fly somewhere. Um, it could be very small daily changes. And those are just as impactful in a lot of ways. Um, you know, even if you spend the night at someone's house that you would like to visit, even if they're local, um, things like that. You know, there's so many things, and I think we get stuck on what it's supposed to look like. The more out of the box you can go, it feels like uh, the better. I always get the comments, you know, I never, I never do that, but do it anyway. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, so just as a reminder, I do have this month, um, third week of this month in Burbank in person. I do have a um, meetup workshop meeting get together 
which we're going to talk about today, uh, which is an interesting topic for me personally, um, because I, I, my play is very different from what people have inputted their play is. Um, and so that's fine. I don't, it's neither here or there. But um, but I also observe how often people forget to play uh, and how valuable that is not only to anti-aging um, but also to mood and mental health and creativity. Um, I am grateful that the other part of my life is creative and I do art uh, crafts, etc., on a regular, and that really helps with my mental health. Um, uh, and I do think that uh, it's beneficial for everyone to get some sort of creativity in their peripheral or from their peripheral into their uh, present um, behavior. It's therapeutic. It um, changes the chemicals in the body when you're enjoying what you're doing. The trivial pursuit is part of what people do for play, um, and that's cool. So what do you do for play? I'm looking to see which card is coming up. This one. Opening. Crap. So um, the creativity allows for this kind of process to happen, an opening. Right? So if you think of the energy of um, being fixated um, in your life, stagnant and all that, energy is thick, right? Heavy, um, even suppressing. So the creativity brings in this opening quality. And so new things can come through, old things can be moved back or away, so it's creativity, and it doesn't have to be painting, it doesn't have to be all that sort of stuff. There's lots of things to do creativity-wise. Um, and bringing things in, you may remember a project that you did in school when you were younger, and do you remember those um, pasta projects every kid did? <laughs> I mean, really, stuff like that, right? Um, it could be whittling wood, it could be crochet, I mean, literally, so many examples. So, again, if you need help to figure out something, let me know. I will tell you some options that you could consider, okay? Um, so that creativity allows for an opening breath movement, shift in mind, shift in concept, shift in mood, right? So your challenge this week, should you decide to take it on, and this take will self-destruct in 10 seconds, <laughs> uh, is to find something creative to do to get some movement or some opening in your life in this moment. Uh, Again, everything from wardrobe to uh, an art project to something, right? We'll figure it out. So uh, please let me know if you are interested in attending the um, in-person talk. We're going to talk about play. It is an experiential class and a workshop, so you're not going to just be sitting listening to me. We're actually going to interact. It is here in Burbank. I do need you to sign up, so go to my website, theheartofwellness.com, look for cool stuff and events, and let me know that you're coming in, okay? So, uh, hopefully have a wonderful rest of your week. We're almost at the weekend, and a great time to figure out some creative thing to do. Okay. Oh, by the way, remember those projects you have in your closet that you said you're going to get to? Get to them. <laughs> Be well. We'll see you again, and we'll have more to share next week. Take care. Bye.